So we have literally just unlocked Bronk as you can see and uh, hopefully he has some good stuff because Yuma had some great skills and then his cards kind of uh, weren't up to the par of that I guess. But we know one of his skills already is going to give us Tin Archduke so we'll take a look at that one. There is Bronk and uh, the first one of course is Return of the Archduke at the beginning of the duel. Add a Tin Archduke from your deck to your extra deck. Really, really good skill. Uh, well, you know, compared to again to 5Ds where we had to have 22 card decks, it is a obvious improvement. And can be used to your opponent controls in monster defense mode. Return one from your graveyard to extra deck. I see where they're going with these now. I don't particularly like this one. I don't think that part, is, you know, this skill isn't seen play anyway. You know, you can farm this card from the gate. So doesn't really make too much of a difference but sure it, it's a decent enough skill then we have recycling reserve this wants to load can be used if you have at least two more machine types than other cards in your graveyard all cards in your graveyard other machine type monsters vanish what what is this useful for is this is this an archduke thing is there like a, a strategy here that that i'm kind of missing there must be some cards he has that kind of work with that but you just remove everything else in your graveyard so that's a card that you know mandates there to be only machines in the graveyard then sure okay i don't know overlay game we've talked about this one already decent enough that's fine uh life point boost life charge level augmentation good he can play shiranui's i've seen that deck before can be used if you're an opponent control a card or cards with the same names Recover 500 life points for each card with a different name. Wait. No, for each different card with the same name. Once per turn and three times a duel. So if you're in a Shiranui matchup, in a mirror match, you can just gain a ton of life points. Won't see play. Unless we got to a tier 0 meta where like every deck was the same deck, then sure. But no, not that great. Iron Call can be used on your next turn after Iron Call is activated. So, you do a normal draw, return Iron Call from your graveyard to your hand. Oh, Bronk. Bronk, you. Yuma hyped me up for these skills, and so far they're not really that great. Uh, Iron Eye is the one with Iron. Can only be used the turn you activate the effect of a card whose original name is something. Increase the attack of one Eye Iron you control by 400. This could only be used once per turn and three times per duel. I assume that you're meant to, you know, if you use Ion's effect to gain 400, then you also then get another 400 on top of it. That's kind of what I'm thinking of, the original name thing being blank. I, I think it's just, you know, it's meant to be Ion, so if you activate Ion to gain 400, you gain another 400. Which makes him not terrible with this skill. Because then he becomes 24, obviously can't attack, but it's okay, you know, definitely, you know, definitely not the, the, the best skills in the world and honestly pretty terrible. Uh, draw pass, defense charge, attack charge, he has just some standard stuff. Now on to the new cards, of course Iron, kind of gathered that one was coming, uh, three of this probably, that, that's fine. We have Toy Emperor, no... Don't we have this from like uh, an event, a login campaign, and probably now in, I, I just want to check real quick, just to see what he has in his drops. He has Toy Soldier, Honeybee, okay, right, fine, that, that's fine. I swear we have Toy Emperor already, if not, that's good. But it doesn't show me how many copies of a card I already own, so... Uh, Toy Emperor. Yeah, we have, we have two already. Well, I have two at least. And that was a login campaign. I can understand why it's here. It's not the best thing again because they can just bring that back in a ticket. Uh, but sure. Not amazing. We have Wind Up Rat. During a main phase, you can target one wind up in your graveyard, change this card, attack mode to defense mode, and special that target in face of defense mode. Okay. That's not terrible. Assuming it's brand new again, I, I don't know. 
But assuming it's brand new, that's not terrible. Uh, okay, fine. Then we're getting the Bane of My Existence, the UR, SR ticket. Not even a Prismatic one, you know, like for, for taking up a card slot, not even Prismatic. We have another Eye Iron, we have another Tempera, another Wind Up, we have... Why does this keep happening, Konami? Uh, why is Ten Archduke in, a, in a here? He's in the skill, he's in here, he's in your gate drops. This makes zero sense. And he's a waste, it is just a waste of a card slot. You know, like... Wh why? Time for against, now we can like, wait, so we're getting what? Three? From this? Yeah, three, so now I have five, okay. Fine, fine. Like, just, if they then give this card out via a, a ticket, that's bollocks. And then we have, last of all, another wind-up rat. So that's going to be our three. Our brand new card is the wind-up rat and the eye iron. Bronk, I expected more from you after seeing you and Astral together and being a decent character. Skill-wise, this one is cheesy and might have some really cool weird tech options. Uh, that's kind of funky for, for the mirror. And Iron Eye is gonna see some meme deck play, but beyond that, Bronk is honestly a skip character. Unless, of course, wind ups get big, at which point the wind up rat, wherever the hell he's gone, here he is, wind up rat, which we have one, uh, two, three, yeah, three copies of wind up rat. Unless rat becomes necess necessary for the deck, which he might do, he's pretty decent, but he's not, you know, it just depends how good that deck is at putting things in the graveyard when they need to be there. Uh, because you can normal summon this, summon one from the graveyard, XC summon, you know, you, like, you get it. Uh, so, he might be, you know, completely necessary just for this card, at which point you want to lock him, but right now, I'd prioritize Yuma, and from what I'm hearing, you might then want to prioritize Tori, because uh, she might be kind of important for a box deck, so, uh, yeah. Well, that was fun. Uh, let me know down below what you think of Bronk, this is a very short video, but uh, yeah, thanks for watching, I'll see you all in the next Duel Links video, see you then.